Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today I want to have a look at the Xeno against the Parrot and Affy. This is not a comparison video because there is a difference in price. As I've done today, just come in here and I've just been on the internet and the cheapest I can get this for is 467 and the cheapest I can get this for is 309. So there's 160 quid worth of difference. Um, that's in the UK, this isn't in the UK at that price, but that's still the difference in price. So it's not a direct comparison because they're not like for like, because they're not price like for like. The question today is, is it worth £170 more for this than this? So let's have a look and compare, start with the transmitter. So this is the transmitter for the Zeno. It hasn't got the best stick resolution in the world. It's not got the best phone holder in the world. It's got a nice bit of weight about it. The antennas seem more than capable of doing the job. But it's not my favourite transmitter ever. But it's adequate and it does what it's supposed to do. This is the Anafi controller which people say that I've never felt it or flown with it. It feels toy grade. It certainly doesn't. It's heavy. Uh, it's got a lot of weight in it. Apparently it's weighted down here, someone told me in my previous video, so it holds nice with your foam. I well believe that. The stick resolution on this thing's amazing, really is nice. The controls are nice and simple on it, and it's a joy to fly with. And again, it does its job. Both of the controllers are fully rechargeable, so you don't have an issue with batteries. So let's look at the drones themselves. So, as you can see, there's a massive difference in size between... The two, if you put one on top of the other, you can see there's a massive difference. Much bigger is the Xeno. Xeno's more the size of, I think it's actually slightly bigger than the Mavic. And the Anafe is somewhere in, probably Mavic Air type of size, but a different shape when you fold it down. So, flying characteristics. So, you've probably seen loads of videos of this. And even after all the upgrades, this thing still moves around in the air and it's got that horrible thing where it drops to the left when you turn. So when you turn, this thing will drop to the left. If you turn left, if you drop, if you turn to the right, it will raise in altitude. Something's obviously not quite right, but it's something they probably will get re ready with the firmware. But the other characteristic of flying this is that this resolution on these sticks isn't good enough. So you can't get any really nice small movements on these sticks because the resolution is not high enough, in my opinion. The Anafi doesn't have any of them tendencies. It had a couple of bugs when it first came out. These things were being addressed by software updates, but it's only had, I've only ever done two on this. This is on my fifth. This is much lighter. And believe it or not, this is far better in wind than this is. And that's because of these props. It's also much quieter to fly. These props cut wind unbelievably well. This is very stable in wind. So, three axis gimbal, two axis gimbal. The gimbal on this seems adequate. I have no issue with the gimbal. The gimbal on this is only two axis. So you do get, if you're your fast, you're gonna get an issue with it, whether you don't so much with this. But let me go back to that. So from gimbal point of view, possibly having a three axis gimbal would be better, and this would definitely be better if I had a three axis gimbal. But once you've flown it a few times, you soon get used to that and you forget it's only got a two axis. Camera quality. There is absolutely no comparison. The camera on here does not look 4K. That's a fact. The camera on this thing kills it. I'll leave some video up at the end. Now, I haven't got time to go fly them at the minute, but I'll put you some video for, it was filmed at different times, but it's not gonna affect what you see. The clarity on this is so much better than this. Forget this flash of the screen, I haven't got an issue with that. Apparently, Hugs and I are gonna replace it for me. Well, they say they are. Let proof will be in the pudding when they replace it. So let's forget about that, and I'm not that bothered. I'm not comparing that with that. The camera upgrades have all been done, and don't get me wrong, it's a lot better than it was. It was used, used to be ridiculously soft. This is sharper, much sharper. This also has HDR setting, which this does not have. Neither of these drones have obstacle avoidance, so there's no obstacle avoidance front or rear on either of these two. Underneath, nothing so you've got nothing on here whereas you have an optical flow and a sonic sensor underneath whereas on this you've got nothing so on this you're purely relying on gps to hold it there is slight drift on the pallet but nowhere near as bad as this 
for me the biggest killer is the camera flight times advertised 25 minutes i think it is i've never got over 21 this thing consistently gives me 25 26 minutes but the batteries are cheaper to buy for this they're around 39 pounds whereas they're around 80 pounds to buy for this but you can shop around and get this on a deal and i think i found it for 600 under 600 for 600 i think it was bang on with two batteries and a case whereas the Xeno, I think you can buy it for 399 with an extra battery from Hudson Direct. So the battery, there is a fair difference in price, I'm not saying there's not. What my question is, is it worth spending the extra? So if, if you're looking for a camera drone, for me it's not the question because I've got both of these drones already. But if you're buying a camera drone, it's the only camera drone you're going to buy. Would you buy that or would you save up that little bit extra to buy this? I don't think there's a any kind of question to be asked. This thing is so much better. The app's better, that is a no doubt, no brainer. The app for this is really good. You used to have to pay 16.99 for follow me and 16.99 for waypoints. You now pay 99 pence each for them. Could they give them away? Possibly, but 99p is not gonna break the bank, is it? The follow me mode on this is absolutely great. The follow me mode on this, not so. The Xeno, when it's done and every bit of software has been done and they've got it very stable in the air and the camera needs to still get better, it's better, mind forget mind glitches, the camera needs to improve. You'll see on the difference on sharpness. It needs to improve dramatically. The other problem is this transfers at around 40 megabits per second. This is just shy of 80. And I think there is the biggest issue. They both do. 4K 30 frames a second and they both go down to 720 so you can adjust throughout the bands on both of them. Am I saying this is a bad drone? Even though I've got problems with mine, I'm still saying at the price point, if you've got one that's right, a £309 which is what I found it from, I think it was Banggood, or uh, Banggood and Gibb, I think both 309 Is it worth £309? Probably, yeah. But is it worth spending another £160 and getting this? And in my opinion, yes it is. Like I said, you're going to see from the flight footage that's going to come up the difference in quality. They're both filmed in the same place, but they're at different times of year. So you're going to have to put up with the fact that maybe this will have slight grey where this wouldn't. But that's not what you're looking at. I want you to look at the clarity of the picture. Not the graininess, the clarity and how good it looks. And also how smooth the gimbal is on this one compared to this one. Because although this hasn't got three axes, I'm not sure that this gimbal is, is as good. It's a decent gimbal, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not. And it might just be the camera. But I've got used to this. When this first came out, I wasn't sure about it. I really wasn't. I love, absolutely love the thing. It had some bugs when it first came out. Some things that were ridiculous they didn't have on the drone. They now have them. With the Xeno, I've been through five updates. Do I want my money back? No, I just want another drone. I just want another drone because I know it could be a great thing. I love the form factor of it, build quality on both, no contest, the parrot's so much better built, the way the arms fold and everything on the parrot is much smoother and nicer, you can tell they put effort into doing this, on this it's very clicky and clunky and it's plastic on plastic, whereas they put some effort into this and they do fully click into place and inside there is much better made. The motors on this thing are tiny. So the, the, thing, the choice is down to uh, individual and, and for me I'd pick the parrot all day long but if I was limited on money yeah still go for the Xeno provided you get one with a decent camera and without the bugs and hopefully the bugs will get sorted out so but obviously the Femi X8 is coming out now that could be a different thing the video I've seen on it so far isn't the best it's a bit bluish tinted to me but that's probably something they'll address with firmware moving on um, and then that might be a different contender and then certainly we'd have a different conversation about this job. But at the minute, I would save my money up and buy this. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.